interesting note is this uh, Morelia riverslanses. Uh, somebody who named it first called it Mon Monty Pythonoides, or I guess he named it second because the uh, riverslanses took precedent over Monty Pythonoides, but whoever named that must have had a pretty good sense of humor. But this was a fairly large python from the Miocene era. Um, shown here the kind of the jaw bones of the, of the snake that they discovered, so partial skeletal remains there, uh, they were fossilized. And uh, they, through phylogenetic analysis, found that this is, is it belongs in Morelia. It's a sister species to the Oenopelli python, Morelia Oenopelensis. And so uh, these snakes have been doing this for a very long time. So I, I think that's pretty cool to think about. There was a Morelia python, you know, millions of years ago, and they're still doing the same thing today. So kind of exciting. Um, so there's, there's kind of a debate on where uh, pythons originated from. So, you know, a lot of people thought that, you know, there's this northern radiation from Laurasia, and they kind of migrated down um, because uh, they're, they're the more basal uh, pythons or, or uh, progenitors of python were found up towards that area, as well as some fossilized specimens. Um, and mitochondrial DNA analysis kind of points to that as well. Uh, Kluge was kind of the champion of the Australian or Gondwanan origin uh, because he, he felt that the, the black heads and womas, the Aspidites genus, were more basal pythons, which was later shown maybe not so much, and uh, that there's a higher number of species in Australia, so he figured, well, you know, if they started there, that makes sense that there'd be more species there. 